Dennis Fano of uh, Fano Guitar fame. This is called the uh, Revolta Combinata. It is a uh, chambered mahogany body with a German carved top. And uh, it's a double bound body with a set maple neck with a really smooth and wide uh, rosewood fretboard here. I really like this neck a lot because you've got a lot of surface area on the top. It's a really wide neck, but you're not sacrificing the thinness. Uh, you don't have to have the big C neck to get that wide fretboard. It's going to be a 25 inch scale, so the sustain is a little more prominent than you would normally have. Um, the baby will scream, we'll show you that in a second here. We've got uh, 24 frets on this thing, and you can get all the way up to that 24th fret with no problem. And it's uh, featuring some Alnico 5 P90 pickups that are going to get really uh, a really warm clean tone, and then when you crank some gain, uh, it gets gets pretty nasty. We're going to play around some more with the gain channel. I'm playing through a Greer Amps Thunderbolt 30 and I'm going straight into a Super Hornet and that's the only things affecting the tone other than guitar. This is straight into the amp. on this pedal which gives you a momentary octave effect and it is ridiculous. This is just straight in the amp. solid feeling guitar while still maintaining the uh, positive attributes of having a chamber body where you have where it's you know obviously lighter um, but it doesn't feel like it feels much more solid than it looks it's a very very road ready guitar straight out of the box so I'm gonna try to do some uh, cleaner stuff I'm to show you how um, how it'll clean up a little bit <laughs> instrument. Um, the, the likened uh, 
The guitar I can liken it to most off the top of my head would be a Duesenberg. Uh, you see a lot of attention to detail, but for a much more cost-effective price. Uh, I am really, really shocked that this guitar is at the price point that it's at. Um, it's just a really, really well-rounded and well-made instrument. So I want to uh, use again the Black Tiger Delay, which is a half analog, half digital delay. You've got an analog circuit that is using a digital timer for the repeats, and uh, that's made right here in Athens, Georgia. Um, so we're gonna pull around with it a little bit. I wanna show the full versatility of this guitar. semi hollow body or a hollow body guitar but you don't have so much feedback that you know the rest of the band wants to kick you out um, it's really it's really receptive to harmonic feedback um, and it just I mean it screams it's it's insane that this guitar plays as nicely as it does and it plays like you know a very boutique um, very pretty pristine um, boutique guitar but it rips uh, and I'd like to highlight some of that and again I'm using um, just the guitar straight into the Super Hornet built by Greer Amps right here in Athens Georgia straight into the Greer Amps Thunderbolt 30. <laughs>
guys, I'm sitting here with the Combinata from Revolta Guitars. It's a new line from Dennis Fano of Fano Guitar fame. Uh, this model um, li literally blew me away, and this is straight out of the box. Um, perfectly intonated. Uh, there's not a dead spot anywhere on this neck. Um, and this model right here, the thing that blows me away the most is that this, the price point is uh, $11.99 for this model. And you're going to get way more quality than you would spend on any other guitar for that price that I've played. Um, and I, would, I was expecting the guitar to cost $2,300, $2,400. Uh, there's also a model available with a tremolo system, and that one starts at $1,349. They're available in four different colors. This one here is the Pomodoro Red metallic color. Uh, it's kind of, you know, like a creamy, orangey red. Um, and you can buy these from RevoltaGuitars.com. And if you want to make it sound even better, what you need to do is head over to GreerAmps.com and play any of the uh, sounds that you heard today, purchase them. All of the tone that you heard today was just this guitar and Greer Amps products, hand-built here in Athens, Georgia. Um, and yeah, I would highly suggest anyone looking to spend you know, $1,200 on a guitar, you're not going to find a better one on the market than this one.